is the obsessive compulsive gamer, the OCG. And I'm here playing Gears of War 2. I'm stoked. It began, as always, with the desire for power. The need to conquer. The hunger to consume. Inevitably, this led to conflict. Humanity fought an endless battle against itself. Until it was forced to unite against a power far greater than it had ever known. But even united, humanity left only destruction in its wake. Despite their best efforts at survival, the humans of Sierra continued to march blindly to their imminent doom. Unaware that their misguided attempts at retaliation were only leading them ever closer to extinction. They had thought us crippled by their weapons of mass destruction. But to survive is to endure and prosper. And we have most certainly survived. Jacinto now stands as the last bastion of humanity. A final, desperate defense in the face of impossible odds. In a way, I pity them. But humanity, as always, brought this war upon itself. Tip of the spear. Welcome to Delta. It never ends. They're getting bolder. Those gears were guarding Pomeroy Depot. Damn, that's just down the road. Exactly. They're moving deeper every day. They have a much better model for Anya. Her model in the first game was really basic. Even by that game standards, because they didn't have her in the game. I think more than that one appearance, she's voice otherwise. They gave her a much better model. Plus, they made substantial upgrades to the engine gears too. Yeah. But for how much longer? Okay, I'm heading to the hospital now. I need to check on that lead. Thanks, I mean, to be fair, they substantially improved the character models for everybody. Good luck, all right? Sergeant Phoenix! Are you Sergeant Phoenix? Delta Squad? <gasps> I'm your new trainee. And green as grass by the looks of it. Time to train the Rook? Yeah. Lucky me. Go easy on the kid, okay? Private Ben Carmine, sir! Reporting for duty, sir! Drop the sir shit, kid. We're not that polite out here. Come on, let's go. I love John Oh, Matthew. yeah. Welcome to Delta. He was fucking born for this role. See, the first Gears of War was it's so an honor to brown and so gray it was almost black and white. And now it occasionally would have strong uses of color. But that was few and far between. A lot of people didn't like that. I myself was not a fan of that. So they tried in Gears 2 to rectify that by having much more prominent use of colors to contrast with the gray tone. I hear that you're the Sergeant. one who... Yes, sir. Uh, Sergeant Phoenix. Must be good to know you're fighting with a pendulum war hero. He's just Marcus to me, man. Name's Dom, by the way. Good to meet you, sir. Uh, Dom, you see action in the war, too? Rook! We can talk history later. Concentrate on your training now. I don't need you getting religious out there. Pardon? Holy? Oh, right. Full of holes. <laughs> Got it. First things first, Rook. Stay focused on your mission. Best way is to check your TACCOM before the bullets fly. Mine says teach the Rook the golden rule. Oh, uh, I know. Do unto others as you would have- <laughs> Not out here, kid. Golden rule of the gears is, take cover or die. You know how to get into cover? Rook, show me. Okay, 
Keep your head down, eyes open, check your surroundings. Always keep your head down like that in a firefight. You'll be fine. Okay, people, let's move out. Yo, you said your name is Carmine? You got a brother was a gear? Yeah, all four of us. Well, three now. You know one of them? I served with Anthony. He was a good soldier. My respects. Thanks. That was the name of Steve Just from the first game. Just good to know he died a hero's death. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> he literally died. He's like, my good Jamie. Do you see that? And then gets taken out by a sniper fire. Hey, Marcus, check this shot. Nice one. I'll call that raise your five. That's if you aim, Marcus. Doesn't help your odds of winning. You could hit those in your sleep with the rifle. Come on, use your pistol, man. Better reload. Could be some more killer bottles up ahead. What the hell was that? Probably just a stray dog. No, no, uh, it was bigger than that. It looked like a, a weird monkey dog thing. Wretch, shoot it! Hey, that's it! That's the monkey dog thing I saw! You hit him? Don't think so. Looks like he got away. You ever seen that before? Yeah, but they usually travel in packs. All right. Stay alert and use cover. The other ones are probably around here somewhere. Nice mantle, Rook. Not an easy maneuver to make in full gear. Nothing here. Maybe they're in the alley. Let's check it out. Grab a few of those grenades. I got a feeling we're gonna need them. Damn, someone needs to do an ammo sweep around here. Wretch! What'd you call that thing, a monkey dog? <laughs> I got a special bone for it. Awesome! Wait, there's another one! Uh -oh. Watch out! Get up. Thanks, man. Dom, want to get that checked out? Nah, just needs a few stitches. It can wait. Pull that shit again, Rook, and you're gonna get some unexpected chainsaw training. Let's get in there. I love that. You're gonna get some unexpected chainsaw training. Like, we have a way of fucking doing things. Your Lancers, Delta. Almost looks peaceful from up here. Almost. Whoa! All this damage came from your grenade? Sure as hell didn't come from yours. Nothing up here. Just some rats. Let's head back to the hospital. And training is done. I just like to do that because like the, they have story stuff in the actual training in this. Like there's like a lot of jokes and gears knowledge, like the golden rules, stuff Whoa. like that. So the training is good. Are in a hurry. That can't be good. 
Looks like vacation's over, kid. Head back to the convoy drop-off. Stay there till I call you on your TACCOM. But... That's an order, soldier! Dom, let's move. Anya, you still here? Still here, Marcus. Tell Dom I may have a lead on his life, but it doesn't look... Anya, what'd you find? A lead on a Jane Doe, but it doesn't look like she... I'll fill you in later, Dom. I have to get back to control. All right, Anya. Good luck. Damn it! Kill these goddamn grubs. Let's move! Yeah. Ty, good to see you. What are we looking at? Locust Street. Follow me. He's a really cool character. Locust got some serious sex coming in here like this. Doubt it has anything to do with courage. They just don't realize they've been sent on a suicide run. Maybe they're just desperate. What do you mean? Maybe the light mass bomb hit them harder than we thought. Or maybe something else is going down in the hollow. I don't know. Heads up, Delta. Some of these patients have rust lung. Okay, take position along these windows. I take the far side. Okay, Delta, I'm back online. We have confirmed Locust presence in the hospital. I repeat, Locusts are in the hospital. Arm. Yeah, well now we've got a power outage too. I'm on it. I'll keep you posted. Control out. Hold fire till they're right below us. We want to get as many of them in the courtyard as we can. Most of those supplies are actually fuel tanks, Delta. Part of the ambush. Here they come. Get ready. Control! Where's the power? Almost there, Delta. Got it. Door should be open now. Thanks, Control. Delta out. Rust lung. Emotion sickness. Cases have been popping up all over since the light mass bombing. It's a horrible way for a warrior to die. Uh, contagious? They say it's not, but I'd keep my distance. No argument here.
they changed the way they fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, it actually gives your uh, uh, forward weapons the ammunition out when you pick up the boxes of forward with the side weapons. Take cover! The locust. Delta's here! They're falling back! Got another! Reaver! Oh yeah, the bolt shot, baby. Oh, he fires even stronger. Fuck yeah. Already in life, one of my favorite weapons. Outside of the hospital, taking position in the streets, requesting assistance. Roger, Control, we're on it. This is Centaur 2 3, establishing position outside of the hospital. this door. Blood in this light. 
You got a sick mind, Ty. The hell are you doing here, Rook? Area I was guarding got too hot, Sergeant. These gears rounded me up to fight, sir. So why aren't you out there fighting? Re reloading, sir. I still don't have that trick down. Better learn fast. Let's get out there, Delta. <laughs> Grab some cover. We gotta dig in it before we can get down there. Rook, you're with us. Let's move. seen the locusts run like this. Running away won't help! I'll just shoot you in your asses! You are pissed today. Damn right. I missed my family. I'll kill every one of these bastards. Nice work, Delta. And Rook. Carmine. You did good. Well, thanks, Sergeant Phoenix. Control, this is Delta. Enemy threat eliminated. Over. Copy that, Delta. Everything okay on your end? Yeah, it was close, but I got out in time. What'd you find? I... Tell me, Anya. Don't bullshit me. The Jane Doe I mentioned? She fits the description, but... Well, looks like she was released a few days ago. We don't have any info after that. There's gotta be another lead, or... Or something, right? I'm sorry, Dom. That's it. I'm sorry. Damn it! Not again! I lost her again! Ah! God damn it! Copy that, Anya. Delta out. Dom, you okay? Just. I'll catch up with you in a sec, Marcus. All right? Yeah. Whatever you need. Guys, let's go. <sighs> Not again. This story is much more personal. They actually hired like a sci-fi writer to do the story in this game. Specifically because they wanted the story to be better. Humans are no strangers to war. After all, we've been fighting for as long as we can remember. War is all we know. In the past, we fought for emulsion. We fought for country. 
We fought for freedom. But all that changed after E-Day. For 15 years, we've been fighting for our very survival against inhuman, genocidal monsters. But it is a fight. We cannot continue. Humanity faces extinction. Unless we end this war, now. So why land down, Sergeant? Why not just drill down here? Jacinto's a one place it can't dig through, and land down's a perfect spot to hit him on their own turf. Heard there's a shitload of grubs there, Sergeant. More like ten shitloads. We had hoped the light mass bombing would decimate the Locust Horde. But they survived, and have returned stronger than ever. They've brought with them a force that can sink entire cities. Even Jacinto, our last beacon of hope through all these dark days, is now at risk. Soon we'll have nothing left to defend. And that means we have only one option. Attack. Gears of War 2. Gears, what I ask of you now is not an easy thing, but it is necessary. If we are to survive, if we are to live long enough, to see the seasons pass, our children grow, and experience a time of peace that we have never known. We must now take this fight to the Locust. We will go to where they live and where they breed, and we will destroy them. This is the day we take the battle to the heart of the enemy. This is the day that we correct the course of human history. This is the day we ensure our survival as a species. Soldiers of the Cog, my fellow Gears, go forth and bring back the hope of humanity! Ah, oh, dizzy. Boy, welcome to the big sock, Sergeant Phoenix. You ready to hit the road? You know it. Well, let's go chunk some bullets at them grubs. Yeah, the first act of this game has kind of road trippy feel. Oh yeah, my name is Dizzy. My rig's a little sweet thing, Betty. You a conscript? I ain't got no choice once we took the lifeboat assistance. Family got the grocery, but Daddy got conscripted. Life's a bitch like that. Delta Baird here. Apparently, I'm riding on Maryland. <laughs> yeah, see you later. It's go time, baby! Good hunting, guys. Control, this is Delta. We're aboard Rig 314 and they're heading out now. Roger that, Delta. You're good to go. All right, settle in, Delta. We've got a long ride to land now.
overhauled the shit out of this engine for Gears 2. You can tell it makes seem like this all shit going on. Come on, come on. Uh, this would not have been possible. down here. Delta, control here. I'm detecting serious seismic activity beneath you.
I need to throw my bag as well. One second, I gotta change them. Okay, sorry about that, my controller. No, I had to the batteries. Centaur 2 3 is down! Divert assistance! Copy that, Delta. lengthy turret sequence.
Marcus, is that Ty? Yeah, told you he was tough to kill. Let's get down there, Gears. Fate has thrown us together again, huh, Marcus? Looks that way. Welcome back to Delta, Ty. Sorry about your squad. Everything happens for a reason. What the hell happened to Lola? My rig? We hit some mines. Tickers, I think. The whole area is infested. Okay, Delta, head to the monument in the center of town. That's going to be your best place to drill. Wilco Control, Delta out. You heard her, Dizzy. We'll walk you there. Use them like landmines, so keep your distance. I'm telling you, y'all gotta clear the way so Betty can move on through. Pickers are ugly, and Betty don't like ugly. Clear! I've got the berries! No more tickers! 
Maddie's a happy lady. Glad to. Nemesis. Thanks, 5-1. Let's keep moving, Delta. Cole, we'll see you on the other side. <sighs> Good night, baby! Control, how much farther to the drill zone? Close. Just beyond the tunnel ahead. <laughs> Remember, your grind lifts are calibrated to dig from the exact location of the town central monument. You're gonna have to back in the trucks to get them properly aligned. Wilco, Delta out. Could be anything in here. Keep an eye out, Delta. You ever wonder why they don't just give us flashlights? Kid's got a point. Might versus light. Meaning... That I'd take an extra gun over a flashlight any day? Damn! It's darker than a rat's ass in here! Let me light up any pity. Yeah. Really? That's dirty. Some light. Don't worry, I got your back like a butt crack. God, I hate these fingers. I really do.
fucking god. through the roof. I need a way in. On it! Wait for it! Wait for it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, bow! Thanks! Let's move! It's gotta be, then after it's gotta be one of the best video games I've done fucking ever. <laughs> Mortars are all clear, Dizzy. Let's get to the drilling zone. I think we'll ride the rest of the way. We got a Brumark! Coming out of the tunnel! Oh, hang on, you go try to molest my face! Delta, defend the ring! I'm trying to keep each each part about an hour.
Control, this is Delta. We've reached the drill zone. Roger that, Delta. What's your launch status? We're getting the lift in position now! Oh, Delta, you my ass covered! Uh, roger that. Control out. Lucas! Drop hold! Marcus. Yeah? If something happens to me, promise me you'll look for Maria. You got it, Dom. No problem. That's in Act 1. And I'm pretty sure a big chunk of this game takes place under. Oh shit! What the hell is that? Oh, hold them off, boys! Get your asses down there! Marcus, should we try to? Damn it! Whoa, bud! used to puke on a raven, he must be tagging the walls with Chuke right now. Damn, so this is what the inner hollow looks like. Ty, this is Marcus, do you read me? Ty! Dizzy! 
Desi, you there? Oh, shit. Control, this is Delta. Do you read? Delta, this is Alpha-1. We've lost contact with the surface. We're limited to short-range radio, but we've got a line on a cedar. Roger that, Alpha-1. Good hunting. Sarge, can you hear me? Carmine, what's your position? Not really sure, sir. I think my lift went off course. Is Ty with you? No, he jumped out before launch. But I see another lift up ahead. All right, head that way and we'll catch up. Don't engage the enemy. Just defend your position. We'll go, sir. Wish me luck. Hang in there, Rook. We'll be there soon. Let's go find Carmine. Dom. All right, I'm going to end this part here, and I'll be back almost immediately.